Hans, do you read me? Over. Be you reach you, Captain Botto. Maintain radio contact. I'm diving to a point 5,000 feet deeper than any man has dived before. Another 1,500 feet and I shall set a new record. I couldn't have done it without you and the crew of the Rezai, Hans. Hans, it's incredible. But what's incredible? An amphibian man. My theories are true. Are you sure you're saying it? That it's not some optical illusion? No, I know what I see, Hans. I'm going to follow it. Maybe I can locate where it comes from. Maybe I can find others. No, it, it's too dangerous. You might... We've lost contact. Ahoy! Are you all right? We noticed you weren't under power. Ahoy, Amanda! Where the red eye? Manta, have you been diving in this area? No, we haven't. Then I'm afraid we have trouble. Our captain is using the diving saucer. He claims he found an amphibian man, and then contact was broken. Manta, legend speaks of a race of primitive amphibian people who are supposed to dwell in the deepest parts of the ocean. Maybe... Maybe Captain Bordeaux stumbled across one. We'll search for him. have gone too deep for you. Return to the surface. Guppy and I will try to find Bordeaux. Calling Hans. Calling Hans. I, I don't know if you can hear me, but if you can, record what I am saying. I'll try to gather all the evidence I can. Especially on film. I must get pictures of this. This is fantastic! can detect where that diving saucer went, Guppy, or else we'd never find it. What in the world? Fantastic! An entire civilization sunk beneath the waves. There's Bordeaux's diving saucer. Let's find it. Come out, gentle people. I don't wish to harm you. I'll look for Bordeaux, Guppy. Wait for me. I mean you no harm, little people. I'm just looking for a surface being who came to your world. Why are you angry with me? I've done nothing to you. Come out. Where are you? 
I want to be your friend. <laughs> Guppy, help me. Free me. Guppy, get Moray. The amphibian people don't know I can't last long out of the water. Get Moray. Hurry. They've been gone too long. Manta will find Captain Bordeaux. Manta must be in trouble. I have to go. But how? You told us the pressure was too great for you. But now I have a natural submarine. Guppy. Isn't that dangerous? Guppy only eats plankton. Her throat isn't big enough to swallow me. I'll just ride in her mouth. Let's go. <coughs> Fantastic! The world of science will be astounded by this discovery. What's going on? Where are you taking me? Thanks, Moray. You can thank me later. Those amphibian people have captured Captain Bordeaux. What's the king saying, Manta? As far as I can tell, Bordeaux's pipe made many of the amphibian people sick and killed some of their oxygen-producing algae. The smoke! The smoke of the tobacco is harmful to this cavern's ecology. Right. They've lived down here for millions of years and have never been exposed to tobacco. But how do we free Bordeaux? I have a plan. Let's get to my diving saucer. your pipe tobacco that made the amphibian people sick and killed their algae. I'm ashamed of myself. I warned others about pollution to the sea, but thoughtlessly upset the delicate ecology of their world. Bordeaux, what are you going to tell the world about the amphibian people? The truth. I have it all recorded on this film cassette. And then others will go to study them. Captain Bordeaux, you saw what just one human visitor accidentally did to them. What will happen if more and more people go to their cavern? Oops, I just dropped my film cassette. <laughs>
Thank you. Now the amphibian people will have peace.